Look at the size of this one. <laughs> Get tired, buddy. There it is. I see some fish. I see some large mouths. I see some peacocks. Let's see if I can show you on camera though. Where's that sunlight glare? Right there. Right there. Got him. Got a fish. Got one. Got one. Got one, guys. Got one. Breaking ice, little guy. But hey, look at how he's black fended. Some stripes, dark, dark stripes. Means he's kind of flared up, so he might be pre-spawn or might be with some fry. So let's let him go back in the water. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today we've got a multi-species episode lined up for you. But first off, I hope everyone had an amazing 4th of July. Let's not forget why we celebrate. Um, because if you're not down with that, then you can't be down with me. But remember, if you're not yet subscribed, hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell. That's only if you like fishing, the outdoors, travel, family fun, and me. You gotta like me, kind of, a little bit at least if you, watch, if you watch the channel. But for now, enjoy the episode. I am on the way to go fish with someone who I have never fished with before in a place that I've never fished. This person entered a contest to win a free pin battle three combo from the real hooker bait and tackle and myself and we're gonna link up so that i can give them the rod and we can catch some fish there's a ton of mullet in here plenty of vegetation to ambush from tilt that down a little bit using the cast king mg12 got a little little lure brown to match the water a little bit i think this color is going to get smacked today and just make some adjustments here. Let's see a little bit more. Oop, too much. There we go. So yeah, it's a new location for me. I'm waiting on them to show up. They gave me the GPS location. It's hot out, so I might as well start making some casts if I'm gonna be standing here. Yep, looks like they're here. Just in time. I'm not sure where we're actually fishing at. This is just a meetup location. So uh, yeah, let's get this show started, guys. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, how you nice doing? to meet you. All right, hey, there you go, Thank man. Thank you. I'm gonna put it in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know Robert did not seem very enthusiastic when I handed him the rod, but he was kind of just in shock because he has never met me before. He was surprised that he was the winner, so he didn't really know how to react. As the day progressed, turns out he's a really awesome kid. He's very intelligent. He knows more about the fish species that are in these waters than I do. I was asking him, yo, what kind of fish is that? Really good kid, and I'm very glad that I got a chance to fish with him. So uh, yeah, check out the video, check out these fish that we caught because we slayed it up today. And almost died of heat exhaustion and uh, heat stroke and, and dehydration and all that stuff. But that's besides the point, we had fun. My dad owns the Spice Lab, a spice company. All right. And they make a bunch of seasonings and blends. Look at this, guys chimichurri seasoning because you know I like my churrascos it's for salmon the bayou you know I gotta bust out that grill again start grilling some food I appreciate it man thank you another handshake thank you're gonna you. put me on some fish hopefully hopefully let's just say yes all right so I found peacock bass here so I want Robert to try and catch this one right before he hits give it a tiny twitch Right there, perfect. There it is. There it is. That shot up from the the weed line right there. Oh, I'm oh you're good. You're good. You're good. 
That's a nice fish. All right, so you broke ice. Got it. This kid's a professional. He's got it. It's a lot bigger than the one I caught. Nice fish. On the artificial bait caster. Kid got the flick of the wrist. Good job, man. What Thank lure you. is that? It's a paddle tail. Nice. That's my go-to. All right, let's see. Drop it out here. Drop it like it's hot because it is extremely hot today. Oh, almost. Oh, yep. I was a split second too slow. Where'd that jag go? I caught a giant jaguar um, not that long ago. Um, a friend of mine actually holds the record for jags, and the one that I caught was bigger. No, I, oh, I got him. I got the fish. Ooh. Nope, didn't get it certified because I didn't realize that it was a record. Yeah, they're moving up north a bit. Yeah. Into the vegetation. I gotta be careful, this hook is soft. All right, with the assist. Thank you, sir. Another little peacock bass. Hey, let's go find some more. Found another peacock. Trying to work them. So, what do you love about fishing? Everything. Everything. The getting outside. That's the good part right there. Catching the fish is just the the perk to being outside. Yeah. Because it helps relax me. Even on a bad day of fishing, I'm still more relaxed than on when I'm not fishing at all. Comment below. I love fishing, and I'm gonna heart your comment. So as you can see, you know, I'm here with Robert and uh, he is the winner of the pin battle three combo that I gave away on my uh, on my Instagram along with Real Hooker. You know, we're just using some uh, bait casters with the good old artificial paddle tail lures. I'm using the Cast King MG12. But uh, yeah, we're just going to have a day of uh, fishing and uh, hanging out. See who can catch the biggest fish or hell. I just want to catch some fish. What about you? both he wants to catch the biggest fish he's already beating me though because uh that the first peacock he got was like double the size of the one i got but the day is not over yet it's true, so. yeah are you implying you want me to cast uh, sure. <laughs> no you know you want that one <laughs> right here Got him, got him, got him. I don't know. Yep. Ooh, that's a solid fish. Get tired, man. All right. Nice. I appreciate it, man. Ooh. That is a big one. Look at that fish, guys. Look at that fish. Pop out the old lure. There we go. Oh, what happened to his lip? All right, that's the biggest peacock I've caught in probably two months. So uh, we're gonna get him back in the water. Nice fight. Thank you. You can see the lip was a little messed up right there. Not where my hook is, but as Robert pointed out, the jawline is actually deformed. So he either got dropped or something happened when he was younger, but he's growing big and strong. I mean, I didn't want to steal the fish but i did and he said it was okay for me to cast so uh don't judge me people get that bad boy so we decided to make a long 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 walk and i'm getting tired but we got a destination here that we're trying to get to so we're not going to stop till we get there and we're going to catch some more fish for you guys so stay tuned come on oh no Ah, it spit me off. God, that was an aggressive little guy. I waited for the GoPro to turn on so I didn't reel it up. Lost my fish. Yeah. On the micro rod. Oh, uh, not the weeds. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. You know how to navigate that. Is he, oh, he's good. Did he come off? Yeah. Oh, it snapped the line. He just lost a Tiger Oscar because he's using 
actually he's using a little micro rod or mini rod that has a light eight pound test on it and it got caught up in this muck and kind of put too much weight and snapped it not his fault just the fish went in the wrong spot and that's it never been here before but, well obviously people fish out here because there's a piece of a fishing rod so that's a good sign that we're not in the wrong place what do you say large mouths more large mouths than anything else oh. what was that You got some? What? Nice. I saw him hit right there. Nice. So, it is largemouth season. There it is. Oh, there. Definitely eating hard. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. First largemouth of the day. Chunky. It is a dull chunk. There's a lot of largemouths right now. Oh, there's a drag again. Oh. Yeah, he seems to be the most aggressive one. Okay, they don't even want the worm. So. Oh, got, one. got one? Oh, it's a nice one. Nice. Yes. Oh. Yes. If you've never seen a jaguar capote, check this one out because this is one beauty that he just caught. Look at the patterns and the colors on these things. Got like a purplish, ir what, iridescent kind of color to it. Nice. Great catch, man. Oh, come on. I don't know what I just recorded or did not record, guys. I apologize. And that was a solid largemouth. Another one. Nice. Oh, baby. Hey. Big or small, we love them all. I don't know if it was the heat or what it was, but every time I thought the GoPro was on, I turned it off. Every time I thought it was off, I turned it back on. So I completely screwed up filming these last couple fish. Um, I literally set the hook and go click, 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 click. And I missed the whole fight on multiple fish. One, I completely missed the whole everything. You don't even see me land it. Um, it was a nice large mouth bass, but you know what? It happens. Maybe this video needed to be shorter anyways. Who knows? But check out this exotic fish that I just caught. Uh, that whole fight. That whole fight. Look at the size of this one. Oh, they got sharp teeth. Wait. These guys got some sharp teeth in here. That is a big one. That is a chunky, chunky drag. Wow. Man, he just crushed it like a freight train. And every time I get hit by a fish, I turn the GoPro off instead of on. Oh, you're being chased, you're being chased. What'd you catch? Another drag? Another drag. Nice. They got some sharp teeth. Fish is a fish. It's Let's go. It's a fatty drag. Nice catch, nice catch. So we've been uh, out here for a while. We are dying of heat exhaustion and dehydration and stuff because this has been a long walk, but I have to say it's been a successful day of fishing. Got some big peacock bass, some small peacock bass, but we got three jaguars, a couple large mouths, and uh, we're not even back to the truck yet. So uh, I'm hoping that that rain ahead of us that I see hits us so we can cool off a little bit. But you know, we're gonna keep trying to catch some fish until we get to the trucks. Yes, I see rain. I want that rain to fall down upon us, but the clouds end here, right above us. So I'm still in the sun. Well, looks like we finished just in time for the rain. Although I kind of wish this rain would have hit while we were out there. That is it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope that you 
already hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can hang out with me again in the future. Also down below, drop some comments on what you want to see me try to do. Remember, I'm in South Florida, so we got peacock bass, snakeheads, largemouths, bowfin, you know, snook tarpon. I've got my boat just outside. It's on the other side of the American flag right here. I've got my boat and I'm just... Um, I got to rewire my stuff to go charge it because the long guy cut my power to my batteries and I want to make sure my trolling motor is fully charged when I go out trying to catch snook and stuff. If you want to see me target something, sharks or whatever, put it in the comments below and I'm going to try and do it. If you want to see me kind of invent something or do something, put it in the comments below. I might try to do it. But until next time, guys, as usual, I always want you to what? Yes. Keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.